Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 13th of May, 2022. Topics I've got on the agenda, news, Google Summer of Code. If Chris joins us, we'll put this down a little further just in case. Um, she Code Africa Contributhon, Jenkins LTS baseline selection, and actually maybe we should just put those in news. And Java 11, uh, we'll just leave them there. Java, require Java 11, internationalization and localization meetup. And I don't think I've got anything to say on the backlog other than awkward, embarrassing things. So anything else you want to add, Kristen? Um, no, no, I think we're good. Okay, all right. Well, so She Code Africa Contributhon, we are, um, one week from the end of the project, one week from the end of development. Um, so we'll stop development and switch to switch to writing final reports, uh, summarizing the results, etc. And we're going to use community.jenkins.io to host those for those final reports. So they're, it's much more approachable than making them do a blog post. Right. There will also be a final blog post on Jenkins.io, but that's that's a thing I'll create, not making them go through the process of creating an ASCII doc blog post. So really cool what they've done so far. Uh, the inclusive naming project has swept through probably 20, 30, maybe 40 plugins looking for um, references that can safely be changed and submitted pull requests to many of them. The screenshot updates project likewise has done quite well, especially given how challenging it can be to get screenshots to the correct location in order to take the screenshot. So both of those have captured enough information that we can continue the work. So they're well suited to, for instance, Hacktoberfest. Oh, okay. And that's that's a nice nice result. Is even if even if there's we're not all the way done with in this project, the fact that we know how to continue them is really good. Right, right. Now the pipeline help project, unfortunately, was just as complicated as this year. Uh, too complicated for for next year. We won't we won't try that again. It just it needs okay. much more senior, experienced people. It takes me sometimes hours to figure out how to do some of these things. Uh, okay. And so we just can't put them through that again. So it, it's, they've, they've done good things. They've learned many good things and they've uh -huh. contributed and that's, that's a positive, but really we like the projects to, to be, give them a feeling of, Hey, we did really great stuff. And here are a number of pull requests we submitted. And this one had too many blocking issues get in their way. Sure. Okay. Now, uh, next, are any questions on C Code Africa? Um, no, but it's interesting from the helpline, the, the, the pipeline help, the helpline pipe project, the, the pipeline help project. Um, is it going to, is it also like, I'm just trying to think also, I mean, yes, it's like trying to get people who are maybe new, but um, is there a better way that we can encourage people who are maintaining their plugins in general to provide better pipeline help? Like for to think about it as a first order. Yeah, good question. I, I'm, I'm not sure really how to encourage that, or maybe if there are people generally aware that it's on the site and that it is visible and that it could be made better. Documentation is sometimes hard to remember to do, <laughs> so like properly and full, but it is sometimes as like a user um, difficult when you know you go in and even even in the um, the generator to click. Like you know the 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 steps, and then you click the help, and there's nothing really there to describe what the different steps are. But maybe right. yeah, maybe that's a good idea, like the plugin health project. But that would well, be, I wonder that'd be because really that's, good idea. that's likely now. Now this is for me. This is a relatively advanced one because it would mean looking inside the source code of the mm -hmm. plugin, identifying pipeline steps, and then identifying and it doesn't have help. But but nonetheless, I think that's that's a valid thing to consider. Hey, if if a plugin does not have help, we should first identify that it doesn't, and then 
guide people, this is how you do it. So, so I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, interesting. Well, cool. That, that's good that it could be, even if it's something like a stretch goal, but it's, it's like something that we help drive plugin developers that they should also think about making sure that that's useful for people. Yeah, well, and, and I think we could, uh, we could also include it in the contributing to open source document, right? Yeah. Where, hey, here's how you do this. But in order oh, to yeah. do that, we've got lots of places where we need to learn how do you do that? And, and that's embarrassing for me to admit, but there have been several times where the, the participants in the project would say, hey, Mark, we found something that doesn't have help. Where do we put the file to add it? Oh. <laughs> and my attempts to find the place to put the file failed. And it's like, oh dear. So oh, no. I'm sure it's possible, but I don't know how. And I need to do research with somebody more skilled than me to find the location for this thing. Where does this help belong? So, so yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's a good thing to do, but part of the hints here is some of the times the reason the help doesn't exist is because it's not obvious where to put the help in order to make it visible. Mm -hmm. Now, many of them still are, hey, we should give more examples. We should do things that would, sorry, just a minute while I mute my. Oh, sure. Got it. So, Anything else on on pipe on Chicote Africa? All right. Next topic then. Jenkins LT, LTS baseline has been selected for June. Um, it's 2.346 will be the release. And the release date has been moved from June 1 to June 15. We intentionally took a took a three week delay choosing the baseline, and the release officer has approved a two week delay in the actual release date. So that's a positive for me. It gives us a little more time to be sure it's stable, healthy, et cetera. All right. um, Kevin and I have started the upgrade guide okay. and the change log and found some, some topics that there's sort of some themes involved. UX improvements are the major theme, really a big deal. It looks much, much, much different. If you look at we, weekly.ci.jenkins.io, you'll see just how different it can look and feel. Notice the icons over the on the left here, and the design library gives us all sorts of cool, cool views of. Oops, wrong one. This one to show the different things that we can do with it. With buttons, for instance, with um, symbols. So a bunch of different iconography that's being used, um, and more and it, it's got experiments where you can try hey i'd like to see what what do modern radio buttons look like and how do i call them out in in a in the jelly files how do i do this and that all sorts of elegant things in the in the ux improvements uh, the upgrade guide the the biggest one is this removal of png and gif icons it means some older plugins need to be updated and really old plugins may not render correctly because they depend on an icon that no longer exists. Interesting. Okay. So working on, on the, what you might call the long tail of plugins with outdated references. Any questions on the June LTS? Okay, next topic then, require Java 11. So the Jenkins project is planning to end support for Java 8. Um, right now, the proposal is that May 31's weekly release will, be, will no longer support Java 8. It will be Java 11 only. 
And then um, the LTS in September will likewise end. Uh, actually, final date. Final date is still under discussion, but May thirty one looks probable for weekly, and then September twenty twenty two LTS for the first. LTS version that requires Java 11 or newer. And we're seeing a bunch of, well, there are a number of items going forward that are further Java 11 uh, fixes and improvements like the Jaxby library um, has some surprises in Java 11. And so there's an epic working on that right now. Okay. Any questions there? Nope. Okay. Next topic. Today we had a, a localization and internationalization meetup. And it reminds that we need, need better documentation on internationalizing. Jenkins uh, and its plugins. There's some some things that we discovered, and but as a result, we've now got this really elegant site that makes it much easier to translate Jenkins. Crowdin.jenkins.io provides a translation support site to allow people to submit their translation. So here. Chris Stern has submitted Chinese simplified and tr Chinese traditional translations oh, for this plugin. Mm -hmm. Bruno submitted for French, Alex for German. Okay, my Italian isn't really great, but it's good enough for the, to fake. <laughs> and and we're seeing already good good results. And oh, this plugin has released with the changes because it's using continuous delivery. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it, it was. It released actually during the webinar. So oh, it was, even, we merged cooler. it and then said, oh, yes, here it is. The release is done. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so still lots of work to um, register plugins with Crowdin, uh, internationalize them, and localize them. Right. There's it's this right. is not this is just the beginning of work, not not the end, but it's it's really kind of cool to see what's happening. Any questions there? No, but I will say that's really, really cool that you were able to see it release with all the changes during the webinar. <laughs> it was so cool. it was that's so cool. <laughs> great to see a uh, a plug in release happen automatically after we submitted after we have, we and it, it's really three stages right and that's that was for sure. me it's exciting to watch the three stages there's the there's the translation stage mm -hmm. so that's a native speaker then there's the proofreading stage where somebody else reads it and says, yeah, I think that's a good translation. And then there's the maintainer merge. So this, the proofreading generates a pull request. So the maintainer doesn't even see something until it's been through both translation and proofread. Oh, cool. Which is, is a relief because I don't speak Chinese, right? I don't read right. Chinese. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do not read, Either. I don't reliably read German or French. And so, so it's, it's really nice that they've got this proofreading step that's a natural part of the tool. Right. All right. And that's, that's without Chris here, I'm going to just skip over Google Summer of Code unless there's something you wanted to note there, Kristen. Um, I do want to, like, I did want to say, um, I really, if there were, there were a a few projects that maybe like were interested in Google Summer of Code. Um, I was really hoping that we would be able to maybe in the future devote some of this docs hours or maybe even the other one. Um, if if one of those projects does end up being chosen to just kind of be able to talk about it in the meeting. And I know that sometimes there's pressure has like, but if you 
you know, have to sign on formally to do the mentorship thing, but it'd be nice to have uh, the student if they are part of a program or the project ends up happening, like to be in the meeting and be, hopefully be involved and get some feedback. So I was hoping that people in this call would be able to help and then have that community support. So yeah. I like <laughs> that. I think that's great. Yeah, agreed. So certainly if, because we had, we had multiple docs rated related project ideas, right? right? There was the right. pipeline steps doc generator. There was a, there was a, a project idea proposed for automatic screenshot generation. And I think there were, there may have even, oh, rest automatic rest API generation was also one of the, one of the, can, one of the ideas that was suggested. So any one of those would make make very good sense to be in this meeting. Right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and and as I ever like just don't there should be no pressure. <laughs> so like uh, for you know anyone that they'd have to do anything, just some reviews or and help. Well, but it, but it would be really, <laughs> right. It, it's it's good to good to be involved and and help with those. Right. As a, as a docs team, so right. Because hey, it's in our best interest to work to be sure that those things look good. They're going to be on the doc site. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like that. Thanks. Now, what's the what's the timeline? There is it end of May when when Google announces. Uh. <laughs> like I just I know that they have to announce the spaces first, and then after that, um, I think the org admins choose. Yeah, and then and then and then there's the period of like no communication type deal, and then Google makes the announcement about. Yeah, like the, and Google announces what projects were selected because I remember there was also. Um, yeah, see the yeah there slot it is so requests. May May twentieth there we okay, go okay yeah actually yes. wow look at that today today was the slot request but i knew i know that there was the whole thing about like it's offered to certain students but like you know there's always a chance that they maybe they did multiple projects and they have to like choose per so i know right. it wasn't a, i knew it wasn't like an immediate thing um mm -hmm. and so okay so we'll just we'll find out on the 20th if any of those projects were accepted by not only jenkins but also by if the students you know because again like the student maybe who knows how many projects they even applied to? So like right. that type of that type of deal. Like if if they're if the pro, one of the projects is chosen, we'll find out on the twentieth. But I would right. love to make sure that they that the students comes to our meetings or maybe like you know even looks over release notes just to kind of get a little bit into the whole thoughts about doc docs. So I, I agree. Well, and mm -hmm. and your question is perfectly timed because. May 20th, they announce, and May 20th starts community bonding. So there's no delay between the no. announcement of which projects are selected and community bonding starts immediately. So, okay. so we could have somebody in this meeting on conceptually May 20th because this meeting is, a well, I don't know that they will have, oh, no, yeah. it'll be May 20th, oh, 1800 no, UTC. For Yes, I was like, oh, so, no, so, so that many. means it'll be one week later. So we may okay. want to do a special meeting where we say, hey, as soon as they've announced, we're going to going to schedule something to welcome all of the Google mm -hmm. Summer of Code contributors and mm -hmm. talk about how Docs works for them. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Unf like, as I'm looking at my calendar, I was like, oh, no, that's like the I'm out for like the, that particular week, of course, like the day, like I'm out of the office. <laughs> like, like, oh no, I was so worried about this. But it's like, like, but I'll definitely, yeah, it's like to be online, I'll be able to email, but unfortunately I will not be available for a meeting on that day. But, well, but, but, like, if, but if we do we, something with docs. Yeah, yeah I mean, we, we could say, hey, welcome. And, and we could schedule a, or maybe ask the, ask the org admins to schedule a welcome and we present. Sure ask org admins to schedule a welcome meeting. And then the docs, docs SIG presents um, something to help, to help them get started on the doc side of things. Yeah. Because even, even if, some of the other things they're working on, it would be helpful to, it would be a good thing for them to also remember to do docs. For right, any right, project. See, right. That, that's the. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? You created this great project and failed to describe how to use it. 
oh, users no. yeah. are going to grumble at you. So yes. here we're here to help you remind you that documentation matters. Yeah, good, good insight. Very good. Well, and, and we've I've got um, office Google Summer of Code office hours that starts in about 40 minutes. So right. I'll join that briefly and suggest the idea because we're only we're only a week away from the announcement. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good idea. Any other suggestions on Google Summer of Code? Uh, not that I can think of at this time. Okay. All right. And because I'm not going to humiliate myself by showing the backlog of pull requests, I propose we call today done unless All you've right. got some other topic. Um, nope. Uh, actually, do we want to ever like take, I mean, not today, but like any other like maybe we just like pull a pull request and we put it on our agenda and say we want to work through this one in the next meeting or sure we could do that <laughs> okay the I know some of them are that, really old like and the, uh, some of them are hard and I know that's like I just didn't know if there were any easy ones that we could like yeah right right now well I can show like, too you too much yeah. okay it's like because like it's too much to just do like you know just to look at but then also just like the oh maybe we need to just well, well, so let's oh, let's no, this... pick let's pick some of the the, the most scary ones, right? Because there okay. <laughs> there's some really here's one support the Maven Groovy source directory. This is the single oldest one, September of 2019, and as far as I know, it's the enhancement is not done. Oh, okay. Right. So so this was proposing to document something that is dependent on this pull request that has never been merged. And given that it's not been merged now in almost three years, I think we could safely close it. Okay. But in fact, let's just take the initiative and do it. So um, closing the pull request for now, for now until we open when after it merges at when the feature is merged. Excuse the cough. All right. So because really it's not not helping us being that old. So that one. Victor, Victor created it, but until we get this, until we get this merged, it's not, it, we shouldn't publish that doc. Okay. So now we're on a roll. Should we look at another one to see if we could close another one similarly? Yeah, so maybe if it's something easy, we can close it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> right, okay, let's see. Maybe, like, right. All right. <laughs> like, I'm good right, so here's one, a draft from Oleg mentioning draft. contributors. Yeah, so, so. Then it's like. But a draft from this long ago. Yeah, maybe. I I don't, I just, I, I mean, Oleg's not actually able to contribute. And right. so I think let's just admit that. And is this something that we wanted to do in the change log? Because that's another thing, right? Is the well, I would change. like it actually. I think it would be pretty. It would be very nice to have mentions of contributors. It's a good way to highlight them. I like it when GitHub does it with theirs, mm -hmm. but um, it would require additions to the data. Oh, okay. And and I think. Closing due to inactivity is is probably the the most sensible thing to do. And if can reopen in the future if there is interest, right? Yeah. Good. All right. Let's hey, let's try one more. We may get I like this. I was like, like yeah, sometimes you know it's just the the little, the little wins, right? <laughs> Well, and and yeah, okay, so this one, I'm not willing to close because the internationalization is a topic that I actually need, but there are, mm. there are lots of proposed changes in this and lots of things that need rework. Okay. So and, it's, oh, go ahead. And, and now with the new, it might be outdated even already. Right. right now with the new, out, the new stuff that you just demoed. 
So. Exactly. So there are there are plenty of things that this would benefit from a let's get it published because it will help us, but let's do the publishing after we've made sure that it's accurate and reliable and matches current behavior. Okay. Yeah, and I like the Oleg's observation. Let's not using a new thing. Let's just get rid of the bad con the old content and put this in. So yeah. All right. I propose we call that our progress. Yes. I like this. <laughs> and thanks, Kristen. Thanks very much. Any other topics before we end for today? Um, not that I can think of. All right. Well, thank you and talk to you again next week then. All right. Thanks, Mark. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.